Hey everyone, RJ here with CV Tech, and today I'll be doing an unboxing of the Umidigi X. Let's check it out. Okay, so the Yuma Digi X is a phone you can buy right now on Amazon. I'll leave a link down below in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. The price on this is currently going for $219. And before we unbox the phone, I'm going to give you some specs of the phone. Now, the processor is a MediaTek Helio P60 octa-core processor with a Mali G72 GPU. This phone has four gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of internal storage, and it is expendable storage as well with micro SD card. The display, a 6.35 inch HD plus AMOLED display with 269 pixels per inch with a 19 by five by nine aspect ratio. The camera has got a 48 megapixel main camera with an aperture of F1.5. 0.79, an 8 megapixel 120 degree ultra wide angle lens and a 5 megapixel depth sensor camera also has a super night mode and a 16 megapixel ai front camera the battery is a 4150 milliamp hour battery with 18 watt fast charging also has nfc with google pay android 9 running stock android has global bands and dual 4g voice over lte and an in-screen fingerprint scanner and a few more things that we'll get into when we get into this phone so of course here is the box turn the box around here and you will see some other specs right there if you want to read those you can by pausing it is a two nano sim card or one nano sim and one sd card and all the bands one two three four five six seven all the way up to 71 so plenty of LTE bands here on the Umidigi X. So definitely no shortage here. Let's go ahead and we'll take the top off of this phone. And we got a thanks card here from Umidigi. Put it to the side. The phone is right here. So we'll pull it out and put it to the side for a moment. Also in here, you've got a little booklet, Link to the World with Umidigi right there. Your SIM addiction tool right there. And also you have your user Umidigi um user manual stuff like that and also in here you got your 18 watt fast charger that comes to the box also have your usb type c red cable here so really nice stuff there also the phone does come with a case pre-installed as you see right there so we'll check that out here in a few minutes as well that's all that comes to the box let's go ahead put it all away and we'll look at the phone Okay, so phone is now in hand. Up front here, you'll see, of course, some of the specs I already told you about. Multi-function NFC, the battery, the screen, camera, and screen fingerprint scanner. You see the little logo down there at the bottom. Let's go ahead and pull off this case. So the case it comes with, you know, these are really nice little cases. They're just, you know, gel skin type cases, but they're really nice. And we'll go ahead and pull off this front protector here. Just like that. And it already has a pre-installed screen protector here as well. And this here is the flame black version here. On the side, you got your power and you got your volume rocker. On top, you got a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack with secondary microphone. On the left, we have nothing. And the bottom, got your single bottom firing speaker, USB type C charging port and microphone. And also on the right side is your SIM and SD tray there. And on the back, of course, got your cameras. Let's go ahead and pull off this to, get to see how nice the back actually looks. And I do like the way this phone looks. I like how the camera accents up here are in red. This little red strip down here at the back, it looks really nice. So you got your Umidigi branding, you got your cameras and your flash and all that kind of good stuff there, as well as your display here with your little teardrop notch up top. So let's go ahead and power this phone on. All right, so we've got Umidigi linked to the world. And of course it is powered by Android. Now the cool thing about this phone here is the fact that it has so many LTE bands for the US. I mean, from band one all the way to band 71. So yeah, this is for use on GSM networks like T-Mobile and AT&T. Unfortunately, it will not work on Verizon or Sprint. However, I will try it out on Verizon to see if it does work. And sometimes it does, but we'll find out. But anyway, I'll go ahead and get it all set up and I'll come back when it's finished. 
Okay, so we're all set up now and ready to go. And the first thing I want to check out is that in screen fingerprint scanner already lights up. Let's try it now. It unlocks just fine. Check it again. And no problem whatsoever. So if you can do it with the screen off and you can't. So the screen has to be on in order to unlock it. But it unlocks every single time. No mistaps. No errors. Works just great. Now also has face unlock. Let's check that out now. And there you go. Unlocks just fine. No problems. Quick, fast. Yeah, it's good. The screen is AMOLED, and the screen does look really nice, very crisp, very clear. Not the highest pixels per inch, but it is very sharp and is very clear. Now, this way here, if you swipe, is your Google stuff. Swipe up here for your app drawer, and there's really not much on the phone. It's pretty much stock Android. Got an FM radio. Uh, you have Duo is already installed, which is nice. You got Google Maps, a sound recorder. Stuff like that's a pretty stock Android here that you're seeing. Have the drop down here as well. It has all your stuff like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Do not disturb, flashlight, auto rotate, airplane mode. You can catch your screen here as well. Location, and you got also got a screen recorder. Really nice to see that here on this phone. And you can also add in hotspot, invert colors, night light. Go to the settings here for a moment. Network and internet. Got your Wi-Fi data. Hotspot and tethering, SIM cards, private DNS, VPN, stuff like that. Connected devices, Bluetooth. You also have NFC, uh, CAS, print and receive files, and also you got Chromebook there. Smart Assistant, navigation key here. So you got virtual keys and swipe up gestures. So if you don't want to have, you know, the bottom left home and recent or so whatever, you can choose to swipe up navigation. Yeah. All good stuff there. I'll leave it there for now, but I will change them to the back button on the left. Display, brightness level, night light. That's a brightness. Wallpaper, your sleep. Auto take screen, font size, screen saver, lift awake. And just typical stuff that you see on a lot of these phones here. Got your sound. Storage has 128 gigabytes of storage. Only 11 gigabytes that is used. So only 9% used. Plenty of storage. Also add an SD card. And you're good to go here on this device. Security and location. Got your screen lock. Lock screen preferences. Fingerprint. Unlock effect. So for the fingerprint, you can choose whatever effect you want to, you know, use to unlock your phone. Ripple, firework, rhyme, and just fingerprint. So, yeah, there you go. And also display screen fingerprint on or off. System. And this phone is running on Android version 9 with August 5th, 2019 security patch. So that's about all there is there in the settings. So let's go into this camera here for just a moment. Now here's your camera interface. The screen does brighten up up top here. Of course, is your flash AI mode, your settings mode for anti-shake, self-timer, touch capture, face detection. Picture size is 12, 48 megapixels, 12 megapixels, and it goes on down from there. But 12 megapixels, 4 by 3 is what it's defaulted at. And, of course, you got just a general button to go to 48 megapixels if you want to. So when it says 48 megapixels, it's pretty much 12 megapixels, you know, with a button for 48. So, yeah, there you go. Uh, water capture, uh, grid line, ZSD for your zero shutter delay, shutter sound, save location, save to SD, all that kind of stuff there. Now, like I said, right here is your 48 megapixel, you know, button. You got a 1x, you got a 2x zoom also there for the photo. And you also got portrait mode here. Got your video mode, slow motion, and short video. So in the video mode, up here in the settings, you can record in full HD, 1080, 720, 480, and CIF, and that's just about it. You got your EIS for electronic image stabilization. So here is the front facing camera. Looks really crisp, very clear, very sharp. I'm really amazed at how good the front camera on this phone actually looks. So in here in the settings, it is a 16 megapixel camera. You see right there, and pretty much the exact same specs that you've seen um, earlier. Now here in the video mode, Go up here, record in full 1080, 720, 480, stuff like that. So very interesting here, you know, camera. We're going to see how just how good it is. 
So yeah, that's just a brief look there at the camera. And of course, like I said, the screen does brighten up, which will probably eat your battery a whole lot more if you are, you know, using your camera a lot. Now, as far as the dialer here goes, just your typical standard dialer that you see on every single phone. Messages here, I'm sure is, uh, you know, Gboard. And yeah, there you go. And so really nice keyboard here. All of your emojis, if you like emojis, they're all here. Now, the phone feels very smooth, okay? Of course, the MediaTek Helio P60 processor is a very, very good processor, very speedy, 4 gigabytes of RAM, stock Android, plenty of storage, 128 gigs, um, no, store, no shortage there whatsoever. I love the accent back here in the back. Unfortunately, the case covers up the whole back of it, except for the camera area, which is kind of disappointing that it ain't more clear, but that's just kind of, kind of the way it goes now. They're saying that the back of it is plastic. Now, to me, it don't feel plastic, but if it is, it is. The side of it here, I'm just not really sure what this phone's made out of. Uh, as far as the body and the back. Uh, but yeah, Umidigi X. Really nice phone from Umidigi. Really good looking phone. And I'm really anxious to try it out. So if this was helpful and informative in any way, hit that like button. Any questions you may have, leave it down below. And subscribe if you haven't. I would really appreciate it. Y'all have a good one. And thanks for watching.